welcome to this HTML video that will hopefully help you uh, in support of the HTML element of the Unit 2 uh, on screen test for the WJC Computer Science exam. Uh, you can see I've got a notepad on the right and a browser underneath. I tend to advise students to set it up like this because you can then make changes directly here and save it and then refresh or open the file initially and then refresh this to see the changes that you've made straight away. On the left, we're going to work through this task. This is an old past paper. It's uh, called Phone Recycle. And you, this, is, this is how you will be presented with the text uh, for a task like this. You'll be given a raw text file. And what we need to do really to start with is start adding the tags and building it up so that we're making it look like this. So as always, we're going to pop our HTML tag in and our body tag. And we're going to make sure somewhere at the bottom we close our body tag and we close our HTML tag. Now it's really important, you lose a mark if you don't um, get those in the right place and get those included, so you must make sure you pop those in there from the get-go. Right, we can notice from the uh, first line this is a heading, so we'll pop heading 1, H1 in there, and it's also centred, so we're going to put centre around uh, wanted. And we're going to close the center tag and then we will close the h1 tag so that is the first line done we've then got another line that's centered saying your old mobile phone for cash so center and we can also see that this one is bold and it's also italics we'll pop those and then remember to close them uh, in the order that you nested them previously so we'll just close the center one and that's that line done. And then underneath this one, we'll have a, a line break. So we'll just pop a BR in there to give us a new line. Now this one's centered. Again, click to visit. So center. And then what we notice here when it says visit, uh, that is a, a link. So we'll have an A H ref equals HTTP and this is the link so we can put a final quote there and close it but the text we'd like it to say must go after that closing bracket there and now I can close the A tag and I must remember here to close the center tag because if I don't the paragraph underneath it will also be centered here I'm, got, uh, I'm going to have a paragraph now and the paragraph goes right to the end until we get to the word today. But for today, it's underlined and it's bold. So I'll again close the bold and close the underline. And I'll also close the paragraph. Okay. So now I can go ahead and save this. Now, on a Mac, if I don't include an extension, uh, it will save it as TXT. Well, I'm going to save it as Final Phone Recycle, as it says uh, down the bottom. Recycle. I'm going to save it as .html initially because I need to make sure that it looks like this. So, on a Mac, it will, like I said, it will, it will make it a text file if I don't put an extension. You can see a screenshot popping up now that will show you click on all files in notepad in windows and then make sure you've got the html extension on the end if you don't it won't open up properly so i'm going to click save use html and in my browser i'm now going to open that file that i just saved final phone recycle and with a little bit of luck that will open up just like uh, it does on there so we've got the heading, we've got bold and italics and centered, we've got a clickable link, and we've got a paragraph with a bold underlined piece of text at the end. So like I said, use, try and use the tips I've given you as far as having a browser open and a notepad at the same time. That'll just save you some time in an on-screen test. Obviously, once you get to the, um, the Java or the algorithm, you might want to uh, spend a little bit more time doing those. The HTML is probably one of the easier elements of the on-screen test so 
rattle that off first, save yourself some time, make sure you check it, and then finally save it as a text file. Don't just leave it the HTML file because it does say in the instructions, save it as a text file. And hopefully that will see you through the HTML part of the on-screen test. Best of luck.